Hey everyone, it's Tremia. And today's not one of my better days. Um, I had my IVIG infusion, and it usually it makes me feel better, but for a couple of days or up to a week, I might have a IVIG headache, <clears throat> but it's controllable. But for some reason, this time around, boy, it just really made me not feel well. Um, but I've been having trouble with my hemoglobin going low. Um, and so they gave me uh, an infusion of iron. And also my bag of fluid I usually don't get the whole bag, um, just what they need to do, like with flushes in between my pre-medication and all of that. And uh, and plus my bag of fluid, it has to be dextrose. It's required with the Privigen, and uh, they it can't be just normal saline. It has to be the dextrose, which affects my blood sugars, but. Anyway, this time around I got the whole bag, and so I felt waterlogged also, and I don't know, it just it just didn't fare well with me this time around, but hopefully in a day or two it'll get better. Um, more about the IVIG, um, the reason I am getting the infusions, um, I had a stem cell transplant uh, for, you know, systemic lupus, and afterwards, my immunoglobulins did not come back, and I mean, did not come back, they were zero, and like your counts are supposed to be like 369 to 1200, or, you know, 80 to 180, and mine were just a zero. You know, there, and there's three that my oncologist checks about every other visit. And um, now they have a slight number to them, but it's still below normal. And, and actually, it's not a true reading. It's because of the uh, IVIG infusion. Um, and... Before, uh, when I first started receiving the infusions, I was getting it every four weeks, and which was fine. And, you know, I was still getting some major infections, um, but then I started to where I wasn't feeling well that fourth week at all. And then it got to where I was really sick the fourth week and I felt like if I took a slight cold on I was gonna be down for the count I was gonna be in the hospital and you know it was really concerning me and I had mentioned it to my oncologist a couple of times and so he changed it you know he upped my dosage and which it worked a little bit but Maybe instead of seven days of not feeling well, I was only not feeling well for the last three or four days. So it didn't quite do the trick. And then, you know, that kept up for about like eight months. And then uh, something sent me into the hospital and, you know, I came back out and was talking to him about it. And he goes, okay, we can either up your dose again or we can go to every three weeks because I had been saying, can I please go to three weeks? Is because that last week is what's, you know, getting me. And um, <clears throat> come to find out the half-life on IVIG is 21 days. So my body was telling me something scientific <laughs> and I didn't even realize it. Because at that three week time frame, when I, once I reach 21 days, the privilegeing in me basically is breaking down. It's not doing its job anymore. 
it's leaving my body and you know there's no protection in there and my body was saying and I felt it I mean I truly felt like if I caught something it was gonna be a fight it was gonna be a real big fight and um, so when he gave me the choice of going up on my dosage every three weeks I said three weeks <laughs> three weeks and it has worked like a charm when I, I when it's time to have I, I go every 21 days like clockwork the only thing that will interfere with that is if a holiday happens on my 21 days and then I prefer for it to to go in a day or two early versus a day or two later and um and that happened this time around i went in a day or two early well actually because the weekend and um i don't know if that i think the iron infusion is what kind of messed with me but my ivig is very important to my health and I haven't I I am allergic to it it is a blood product and thank you to everyone that donates blood you're saving my life and it's greatly greatly appreciated it doesn't tell my body in any way to start producing immunoglobulins but it goes in there and it acts as a temporary um, immune system for me and boy but at that 21 days <laughs> it's gone so uh, you know when I go in on my 21 day days I'm not feeling weak yet I'm not feeling sick you know I'm just glad to go and get it done uh, since I'm allergic to it you know they do pre-medicate me um, they were doing 120 milligrams of solumedrol and uh, 50 milligrams of Benadryl and a milligram of Ativan and uh, they did that the solumedrol at that dose for a long time and then finally I, I, I thought why so much and I asked I said can we is there can we drop that and see how it works and we dropped it to 60 milligrams and I'm still doing pretty much the same as what I was with the higher dose I'm about halfway through it and because of the pre medications I do get a nice day of sleep and rest but about halfway through it I wake up and I'm itching I'll wake up because I'm going like this and so I immediately stop scratching because I will break out in heights and welts and um, I call the nurse and they give me a second dose of Benadryl and Ativan and it stops the itching and I fall back asleep and I wake up when it's time to go but you know without the immunoglobulins the IVIG I would be having uh, that's why I was having sepsis so much is because I didn't have anything pr to protect me and that's why my oncologist looked at it is because I was getting such severe infections over and over I ran out of time so I will see you guys in the next video